Welcome to the Ryan Holt Show. On this show, you can expect the latest, the greatest, and the best curated content on business, marketing, automotive, and lifestyle. Sit back, put in your earplugs, and let's enjoy the ride. Now, as always, I want to make sure you get the best in content that will help you monster your goals, both personally and professionally. I want to keep this conversation going, so please check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Ryan Holtz One. And then go over to Facebook.com forward slash Ryan Holtz Marketing, and we can chat there too. I also want you to visit www.ryanholtz.ca, as this will be where I put my almighty beloved show notes. Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, I am proud to bring you the Ryan Holtz Show. Let the beat drop and enjoy. Two thousand and seventeen, baby! Wow, um, you know, hopping onto this podcast today. Um, you know, I really want this show to be a special show. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things, but. I want everybody, before we get into the show, to really, really kind of open up your nose right now. And you kind of smell that? Oh, what is that smell? That smells the future, baby. And, uh, you know, I think that the future is strong and everybody is kind of talking still a little bit about 2016 um, and and how they felt about 2016. It seemed like a mixed bag year for, for everybody right across the board. Um, some people said they were really happy that the year was over. Some people said that the year was great. Um, but I mean, the economy here locally, where I am here in in uh, in Western Canada, in Edmonton, Alberta, uh, obviously uh, with the oil and things like that, was a little uh, shaky. And uh, new government, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, for me personally, um, I mean, I had the greatest gift of all. Uh, I had my first son. My wife and I had our first son, uh, Dejan. And uh, he uh, is an absolute blessing. Um, he has kept us on our toes. Uh, he, he, you know, it, it has been so amazing. Uh, my wife is amazing. Uh, I have a great family. I'm, I'm super blessed. Um, 2016 on the professional front for me was absolutely spectacular. Uh, we dominated. Uh, we doubled our business uh, for Ryan Holtz Marketing, Consulting, and Training uh, from 2015. Uh, and again, I like to always mention that we never even went out and did a pitch. We've never ever went to a company and said, here's what I can do for you. So everything has came from referrals and through our social media. Um, and for that, I'm very grateful. Shout out to all my clients, supporters, friends, family, uh, my son, my wife, everybody who makes this possible, uh, my health, um, you know, the, 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 the good spirit above. Um, but today I want to talk about uh, you know, a new year's goal. And, uh, you know, I want to ask everybody, what is your 2017 protein shake for your mind look like? Everybody's talking about their body and their physical, and they want to drop their weight and they want to do this and they want to get some abs. And, uh, you know, how do you want to get smarter? How do you want to, how do you want to get more soulful? I mean, it's not just about the body, but what's the protein shake for the mind? Um, you know, I'm telling you, you know, if you want something, you got to go and get it. And uh, 2017, I just feel like I got to come out scrappy. You know, we got to come out scrapping, you know, and we're going to climb. We're going to fight for every inch, but it's going to be a beautiful inch. Um, you know, Steve Harvey, which is an amazing comedian, entertainer, you know, he said one thing and I really like this little story. He said, he said, you just got to jump, you know, and he said, let me tell you about jumping. He said, you know, when you jump, here's the kicker. When you're falling through the sky, the parachute ain't going to open right away. You're going to, you might, you know, might hit yourself on some, some rocks. You might, you know, tumble a little bit, but you just got to jump. And if you keep jumping sooner or later, that parachute's going to open. And it's a great analogy for business or, or any kind of uh, goal that you have personally or professionally is, you know, you got to do something different. You got to make the plunge. It's might not work out the first time you might hit your head. You might get a little rocky. Uh, you might get some bumps, bruises, and scrapes, but at the end of the day, it is all worth it. Um, again, what's the protein shake for your mind? Uh, are you reading new books? Are you, you know, maybe, you know, looking at your friend base who's closest around you saying, hey, maybe this person's got to go. Maybe that person's got to go. Maybe this person should come in a little closer. Are you surrounding yourself with better vibes, better people? Are you taking on a new, you know, yoga program? Are you doing a new spin program? Um, what are you doing? What I want to know what 
what's your protein shake for your mind look like? You know, not your body, not your muscles, not them glutes, not them abs, but your mind and your soul. Because with the mind and the soul, I mean, anything is possible. We all know that your body is an amazing machine and can go further and further and further. But usually it's your mind that quits before your body does. And that is the reality. So if you got your mind and your soul right, chances are the body's going to fall in line too. We're also going to talk a little bit about uh, automotive predictions. Now, everybody, you know, who doesn't know me, uh, you know, kind of my, my, my claim to fame and my little forte and my little niche has been automotive. I do a lot of marketing and speaking um, and consulting in the automotive industry, both uh, through the manufacturers, the provincial associations, uh, as well as the actual dealer clients um, at, the, at the franchise level. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about automotive. Um, but I also want to talk about a fantastic... Uh, interview I seen with this chief marketing officer. Uh, his name is Keith Weed from the massive company Unilever, and uh, you know he's kind of an old school guy, but understands the new school, what's happening, and he's very very educational. I find him very intellectual, but still funky. You know, he still got that pulse on what what do people actually want? Like we have all those you know pay per click and SEO and brand you know, reputation, all these things. But he just gets down to it and says, yo, listen, we got a product or service. We need to find out who needs it. And we need to figure out how they like to communicate. We have to deliver them up some nice content, but make sure that the context is proper. And let's see how we can convert. And that's the reality of marketing. Um, but he, he brought up mobile. Obviously, mobile is huge. I mean, everybody is using mobile. I mean, you got a cell phone, you know, there's all these quick, crazy stats, like there's more cell phones in the world than there is people. Um, you know, it's, you know, we're never, we're never within about, you know, beyond 15 feet of our mobile device. I mean, it's always there. It's how we're communicating. But what's really cool that he said was, he said, you know, when traditional advertising was, you know, getting a nice ad together, pushing it out, making somebody feel something, it was more of a mass type of marketing. But he says when somebody's on their mobile device, it's very personalized. It's it's like a one to one. There, there's nobody around. I mean, the person's literally, uh, you know, taking in the content uh, by themselves. So us as marketers or a marketing, uh, you know, consultant or company or social media manager or whatever the heck you are, have to understand that when we're putting out messaging and we're putting out content you know, a lot of the time it is on a mobile device and the person is literally viewing it one-on-one -on -one with us. So picture yourself talking to your customer or client one-on-one. -on -one. What would you say to that person? And I think the stakes are a lot different when it's one-on-one -on -one as opposed to speaking to a group because of things, you know, obvious reasons. But he, what he said was he felt that a lot of people had, you know, the ads and all that stuff. We, we kind of got that down to a science traditionally, um, also on desktop and things like that. But he says, you know, we still haven't cracked mobile. You know, the, the banner ads, the, the experience, you know, we haven't really made that experience, you know, to what it can be. So there's a lot of room for opportunity there. And I totally agree with that. Uh, even in my, in my company and, and for my portfolio clients, you know, focusing on mobile is focusing on really being creative. And, and you know, again, the, it's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because the client has to be innovative and creative too. So, you know, for me, uh, I'm a boutique. I'm a, you know, I tell everybody, I'm, I'm Versace, I'm Louis Vuitton. I am not Walmart. I do not want this huge, massive agency. I am boutique. I have some big, juicy, beautiful, forward-thinking, innovative clients. I have a great retention rate year to year. Um, and that's my focus. Uh, that's my focus. So, uh, check them out. CMO. Chief Marketing Officer at Unilever, okay? So uh, let's go back and go all the way back to the first topic I want to talk about. Here's my recommendations for getting a protein shake ready for your mind. Number one, you know, especially now that I can speak from the parenting aspect, because this is new for my wife and I, uh, Dejan's two months old. I mean, time is of the essence, right? Uh, it's little things like just going to the washroom, you know, you're just thinking, whoa, you know, all these little things I got to do by myself, you know, it, it's just like, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're high-fiving and, and doing the handoff and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, what am I going to do for the protein shake for my mind is I'm going to really focus on the things that matter. That's family. Um, that is, you know, business. Um, 
I'm not in this hoarding type of scenario anymore. You know, I feel that people go out there and they, they buy things and it's just buy, 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 buy. And they got all this stuff that they don't use. Uh, my wife and I, we've been completely just, you know, anything we haven't used in a year is gone. We're donating it, selling it. Uh, you know, everything is clean and pristine, almost like that European way, because if you ever go to Europe, I mean, you don't have these huge homes. People are in, you know, apartment condo styles and flats and things like that. And their space is, is so, uh, you know, so precious that, you know, whatever they have is truly what they need. So they got to make the most of it. And we're just keeping that sim- simplified mentality, you know, simplicity. And it's beautiful. It's like a clear mind, a clear soul, and a clear vision. And when you have the clear vision, that is my mental protein shake. So again, send me an email, info at reinholds.ca or at reinholds1 on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope. Um, or Ryan Holtz Marketing Consulting and Training on Facebook and tell me what is the protein shake for your mind, okay? And also, since I'm on this topic, I want to say a huge thanks for everyone who's tuned in and listened to the first six episodes. It has absolutely been massive. Um, the reach outs I've gotten has been amazing. The visits to my blog have been great. Uh, the activity and conversations I've had on social media have been fantastic. And I just want to, th- you know, give you a huge shout out and say thank you for listening to this voice okay second topic automotive predictions okay the automotive industry is a is a is kind of a hairy industry in my opinion because you know you see a lot of disconnect from the manufacturer to the dealer and then sometimes you're still seeing a lot of disconnect from the dealer to the consumer um the thing that's tying all three together is just the bloody car so i always tell everybody and all the clients i'm like listen you have a vehicle somebody wants to buy it let's keep that simple right And my prediction for the automotive industry in 2017 is vendors in which we call them, which is, you know, marketing people and third-party ad providers and um, website design providers and all these different providers, only the really good and the results driven with education uh, will survive. Just like every year, you're going to see a lot of companies come up and then as soon as they come up, they're they're gone anyway. Um, What I see as a prediction for social media, digital marketing for the automotive space is uh, it's going to get a lot more one-to-one in terms of dealer interaction with the customer. Um, you know, we still have to, you know, do it in mass uh, because, you know, it's hard to scale. But I think that once uh, we scale it, you're going to see a lot of those one-to-one conversations really flourishing into uh, a heck of a lot more than just a one-on-one conversation with a car buyer. And car buyers are getting more and more educated, as we know. And that means that the dealer has to meet them in their... In their um, in their knowledge, uh, at their knowledge level. Um, social media is not going anywhere. It's all only growing. I think now we're just figuring out how to use it best and make sure that, you know, we, we have all this instant access to people. So what can we do with that? Uh, prediction in the automotive industry, <clears throat> I think, it, you know, uh, the good are going to get be great. And the ones that are just, you know, hey, we've been doing it since 1949. Either they're going to sell off uh, or the customer is just going to say, well, take care. Um, you know, bricks and murder or bricks to clicks, as we call it. If you look at the recent news by Macy's, look how many stores they're shutting down, right? Had a terrible Christmas season for shopping. And what everybody has to understand who's in marketing or business or anything is human psychology. And human psychology has never changed in the sense that uh, a lot of humans, were, you know, Let's be honest, we're busy and we're lazy. We want things convenient. We want it easy. The fact that I can go and buy underwear or socks or pretty much anything online and have it shipped right to my door is a beautiful thing. Now, being a father and my wife being a mother, time is even more crucial to us. So, you know, we're just trying to work smart, not hard, so that we actually have time left over to spend with each other and do the things that we actually want to do in life. Um, and I think that's something that uh, we should we should all really think about. Okay, um, so yeah, automotive. I love automotive. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I think that you know, automotive industry are providing transportation to uh, the average human being who's trying to get to work, trying to drop their kids off at school, trying to go on a date, trying to do bad things in a car. Uh, but it's you know, ultimately, it's just one big story. So uh, predictions for the automotive industry: it's going to get more fierce. It's going to get more competitive. Um, But ultimately, I think it's going to get a lot better for the customer and the end consumer, which I think should always be the focus. I'm customer driven. Uh, I don't care about anything else, but whatever that product or service I'm marketing 
And what that customer requires or the client requires, that's all I care about at the end of the day. Because if they're happy and they're good, they're coming back, they're telling people about it, and I'm going to be good on my bottom line. And that's the reality. Okay? So, um, wow. Uh, you know, this show, again, I am, I got so much to say. It's been a minute since we've done a podcast. Um what is your expectation of me coming up in 2017 uh, for the Ryan Holt Show podcast? We're going to be doing uh, tons of interviews. Obviously, we did one with Be- Beverly Teresa in our previous episode six uh, before the uh, onslaught of uh, the holiday season kicked in. Um, we're going to be doing uh, tons of interviews, like I said. Um, I would love you to email me at info at ryanholds.ca or, again, reach out to me on social media. Tell me who needs to be on this podcast. No pitches. Uh, no plugs, real talk. Um, I want to talk to people who are in arts um, because they have a great perspective. I want to talk to people who are in business. I want to talk to people that have something legitimate to say and are very, very passionate about it, regardless if I agree with them or not. Um, you know, journalism is something I've always loved because, you know, you you kind of keep your own opinion out and, you know, raise a question and let both parties kind of, you know, hack it out and, and see, you know, what, what comes out of it. And a lot of times in life, as we know, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just a matter of opinion um, and some good facts and some good, uh, good stats. Right. So, and that's, that's the reality of this. Right. So uh, I think that's super, super important uh, to think about. Um, you know, I'm sitting here at my office, just really thinking about, what I'm seeing on social media and what I'm seeing uh, in general in life. And we are in a huge culture shift, uh, 21st century style. People are completely living in an iCloud. I mean, we're going to the point where, you know, our human contact is minimizing in terms of saying physically, hello, Mr. or Mrs., how are you? And a lot of that is being done via digital. Um, when you look at Facebook, Facebook is trying to absolutely own your life. Um, Instagram, Instagram is fantastic. I love Instagram. Um, you know, it's simple Twitter, uh, you know, man, I love Twitter, but damn, you know, they've, they've taken a huge hit. There's been no growth in a while. Uh, Snapchat. Wow. Instagram ripping off Snapchat, a double wow. Uh, YouTube. Hey, we all love video. We all love TV. TV is not changing. It's just how we're actually consuming TV. So people are like, oh, TV is going away. No, TV is not going away. Uh, we are always going to want to view pictures or video. Uh, it's just how we're actually consuming that content. So again, you know, we have content and we have context. So people in 2017 are saying, love the content, but here's the context. I need you to deliver the content in. And I think it's really important that we, we stay on the straight and narrow uh, in regards to that, okay? Um, so yeah, uh, 2017 is going to be a, a massive uh, year. I'm wishing everybody a great year. I think we need to roll up our sleeves. I think we need to get scrappy. I think we need to keep everything really simple, um, but good quality. You know, real simple. Take care of it, but great quality. Um, you know, I also want to talk, I also want to interview some people who are in the fashion game. Uh, I love fashion. I think it's uh, absolutely, it mind blows me how, you know, people can design shoes and, and clothes and all that, because it really is, if, you know, if we're going with the analogy that, uh, your body is the canvas, well, then the clothes you're wearing on it is truly the paint. So I think that's something that we have to, uh, think about. And I think that, uh, I think that that's, that's something that's, that's huge, right? So, uh, I'm just going through my phone right now as I'm doing this podcast. And, uh, I just actually want to, to read off a quote because I thought, hey, this quote uh, is fantastic. And I think that uh, even though it says uh, the word God in it, uh, you know, spiritual or religious or not, I mean, I, I never like to get into that. But whatever your God is, if you don't believe whatever, I'm, you know, all love from my end. But Ray Lewis, who arguably, you know, one of the best middle linebackers in the National Football League ever to play the game, number 52, Baltimore Ravens. Love that guy. My mentor playing football. Love him. You know, I was always looking up to Ray Lewis. But he's, but it says, man believes in the possible. God believes in the impossible. And again, we could substitute the word God for whatever you believe in. Uh, it's all love from my end. 
but let's go for the impossible and actually believe in it. So I'm going to end off this podcast by saying, in the words of Steve Harvey, let's all jump together. In the words of Ray Lewis, when you challenge a warrior, a warrior will respond. Okay? So with that being said, thank you so much for listening to Episode 7. 2017 is going to be great. Um, If you have gotten any value from the first six, now seven episodes of the Ryan Holtz Show podcast, I need you to... Uh, just drop a review on iTunes or Google Play. Also, please head on over to ryanholtz.ca forward slash podcast. You can read up on all the show notes. Also, hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope at Reinholds one or on Facebook at Reinholds Marketing Consulting and Training. And we will have some fun. In the words of the greatest people in the world, keep working, keep your head down, stay motivated. This is Ryan Holtz, over and out, baby. Boom. <laughs>